Yo, what's going on you guys? Josh Hart here with another episode of Heart Rate. Uh, today we're going to be just taking a cruise. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done an upload, but uh, I'm going to have some explaining to do by the end of this one. But before we can do that, I got to meet up with some buddies and we got to wash the beast. So, all right, so the beast's all cleaned up. I forgot my chamois cloth though, so yeah, full of water. But we're going to go for a quick drive to go grab some breakfast. And we're going to meet Buddy back here because he wants to wash his car as well. There's a little sneak peek. And uh, yeah, we'll pick this up in, I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes. And we're back. McDonald's seemed to be the answer this morning. I am so dumb though because what did I do? I came out here, I washed the beast, and stupid me then goes through a construction zone. So like, I haven't even got out to look at, but I don't think I want to. Sorry for that. Right now I'm just waiting for Mick to finish washing his car. And then we're gonna head down to uh, the Longsu Parkway, gonna head for a nice little drive. Cruise through there, well, we're gonna see if it's open in the first place, cause pandemic and all, but I have my mask with me just in case I have to get out, talk to anybody going to public places. It's not really uh, necessary here in Ontario, but it is a nice precaution to have just in case. Um, and there's talks of it becoming mandatory about using them to go into stores, I guess. I don't know. Word of mouth. I didn't see any news about that, but hey. This is taking forever. How does he have that much money to put in? Who carries that much change on them? All right, guys, this is a Hyundai Veloster N, and it belongs to my good buddy, Mick, who is right there behind me. And I'm just gonna give you a quick walk around out of this thing. It's pretty nice. Guys, we're gonna make our way down to Longsu now, but uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a treat. This Veloster N has quite the uh, exhaust, let's say. So, uh, hey Mick, you wanna hit it? Give me a few reps. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Okay, we've arrived at our destination and we have one major issue. The park is closed and we can't go through it. So we're trying to figure out something to do. We'll get back to you on this one. All right guys, after uh, a couple moments of consideration here, it's probably not a good idea to lift up the gate. So. I think we're gonna have to uh, call this one quits and we'll get back to it another day. Plus I'm sure we can get more of the guys coming out and uh, say hi, Mick. Yep. That's Mick, that's the owner of the vehicle. Inside of this is actually pretty nice too. And yes, it's a standard, guys. Thank God. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it's been fun. Hopefully next time we can get uh, some actual footage on. And uh, yeah. 
Alright, well I guess I'll just take take you taking off. Give us a little show. Two step it. Sort of the people in that building, but you know, for the vlog. For the vlog? For the vlog. For the vlog. <laughs> And that's my cue to get the fuck out of here. You crazy fucker! <laughs> that was great. All right, man. All right, guys. Well, that was kind of a bust. Should have figured that with the quarantine, the park wouldn't be open because there are beaches and there are campsites. Even though campsites are supposed to be opening again, I know it's still closed. And. Uh, that kind of sucks. I was hoping that today would be a nice video. I mean, we did end up getting that nice little rip from Mick, and uh, hopefully we can get together with either the KDM Ontario group or even just his little personal crew and do a nice little cruise. Now, getting back to what I was talking about earlier, is I do have three videos that I have on the back burner right now. I didn't know if I was going to actually even release any of them. One of them is at Porsche Prestige in uh, Montreal, Quebec. One of them is actually in Cornwall, Ontario at their Oktoberfest Cars and Coffee. And then the other one is just me kind of doing some general maintenance on the beast that some people may not know how to do. I didn't know how to do it until I did this video. So that, those are three things I, I guess you can look forward to in the future. Uh, the reason I didn't do them is uh, I didn't like the quality of any of them, but you know, without releasing anything for about eight months now. I need to get more footage out there. I want to uh, make this brand something that, you know, is more than just a hobby. I'd like to keep this as something, maybe even eventually quit my day job someday and just do this full time because I love, I love cars. Uh, I'm not even, not even exaggerating a bit. I absolutely love cars. I've loved them since I was a young, young child. Uh, all the way up until high school, I, I tried to figure out any way that I possibly could get into cars. And whenever I got into high school, unfortunately, I had a guidance counselor tell me that there is no way to get into doing anything with cars unless I want to sell them. But I ended up going into college to become a cop. And as you can see, I'm not a cop. I don't want to be a cop, nothing against cops. But that's not the route I wanted to take. And. Yeah, now that I have some sort of outlet where I can show you guys all these amazing vehicles around that people have customized and all these performance models that you may not even know about because I don't even know about half of them. Like, I'm learning too here. I love this and I get to travel and eventually I'd like to, you know, start renting these cars or just driving them would be amazing. Uh, I've never driven a supercar let alone, yeah, this, this is gonna suck, but like the biggest thing I've driven was a muscle car. It's not even a muscle car, it was a Pontiac Grand Prix GTP from I think 2004. And then right after that, I took out a 2008 Mustang GT, which I absolutely loved, but uh, I was still young and my parents refused to let me get it. That's how it could crumble sometimes. But yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. I'm gonna close this one out here. Uh, there's nothing really else to talk about or show you. It's pretty boring around here now with the quarantine. So yeah, comment, like, smash that subscribe button and uh, three videos to look forward to in the future. Peace.